Tip number four. Camera settings. Now this is a pretty big section. Uh, I own a Canon 600D, also called the Rebel T3i, which is a very great camera. Now the settings I use for this movie are what I consider as the optimal settings for Twixter to work efficiently. So there are three basic things to learn. First, ISO. This decides how sensitive the camera sensor is to the incoming light. So basically a higher ISO value like a uh, thousand or six thousand which is the highest in my camera means more light but it also means more noise and noise is very bad for Twixter, note that. So keep the ISO as low as possible like 100, 200 or maximum 400. Second, aperture. This is basically a gate that allows light to pass through and controlling this controls not only the amount of light that is entering but also the depth of field of the shot. Now you need to understand this relationship when the aperture is really small like a tiny hole or the f-stop value which is actually what it is called in your camera. That f-stop value is very small and hence it is divided by a bigger number like f slash 22 that's what it means so when you're having a value like f slash 22 or f 22 as it's called you're gonna get a wide depth of field like everything would be in focus and this would also result in less light so on the other hand to get more light in your shot you have to open up the aperture you know like a bigger hole so that more light goes in and the f-stop value is something like f2 or f of 1.4 something like that keep the aperture as high as possible like i said f1.4 f2.0 f3.5 f-stop value should be a bit high shutter speed now this is one big sucker this is the main responsible factor for warping or no warping in your videos just like the blinking of an eye the shutter speed actually controls the shutter that opens and closes multiple times a second to capture motion so a low value like uh, 1 60th of a second uh, means that more bright your scene will be because more light is coming and the shutter is closing slowly comparatively and this would also mean that you get a lot of motion blur and remember motion blur is again very bad for Twixter. Crank the value as up as possible and this means that the shutter opens and closes at a faster rate and hence captures more motion data compared to a lower value. So keep the shutter speed to something like 4000 which is as high as the T3i goes. Last but not the least is the frame rate or the FPS. It decides how many images your camera is capturing per second. Now, advanced DSL DSLRs like my T3i support an option of shooting at half HD, that is 1280 by 720, but at a frame rate of 60 FPS, which is very, very good and a lot better than shooting at full HD at 30 FPS which would kind of suck because remember that that those extra 30 frames can really help Twixter eliminate warping completely.